going back now to the article analysis part of it, the once an article requirement, this, the background on this comes from a European Court of Justice decision that was made in 2015, which said that once something is an article, it's always an article. In other words, if something's an article and you take it embedded into a bigger product, you still have to consider it as the original article. You have to calculate the SVHC concentration that way. And because the skip database requires us to load the article as such, which is defined as the first article into which the SVHC was incorporated, we have to know what that article is now and we have to disclose that. Right? Now, this is made worse in 2017 when we got a guidance document from the European Chemicals Agency that showed us how to calculate the SVHCs in articles, and it confirmed that electronic components could be considered potential complex objects which contain multiple articles. Then we go into example 21 within this document, which actually breaks a PCBA apart and actually confirms that uh, an electronic component such as a capacitor is made up of multiple articles, including conductors, dielectric, connectors, wires, and casing. We have to consider that. It mentions that that level of analysis applies to other objects on the PCB like transistors, microprocessors, and fans. So we have to consider the article content within these components and we have to trace back the supply chain to the point where the SVHCs were incorporated into their very first article. Okay. This is something that they, has been in place since 2017 when this document came out that the supply chain has largely ignored. Let me show you why this means so much in the context of SKIP. So in this case, I have a uh, diode here, it's a standard diode. And inside of this diode, I have some plating and the plating is 15% lead. So I have 15% lead present in this thing, that lead is an SVHC. So if I'm going to take the lazy man's approach and just say, well, I don't really wanna do an article analysis. I don't understand the construction of this diode, but I wanna meet the once an article requirements. Then I'm going to take a worst case approach and just assume everything in here is an article. And I'm gonna assign plating an article status, in which case I'm reporting 15% lead. Now, I can't really do that anymore. This is what suppliers are doing, but in skip, Plating is not an article. I don't want to declare plating as an article in a skip submission. So what I don't want to do either is go back in time before the once an article ruling and just treat the diode as the article because we know that's not correct based on ECHA guidance. And if I do that, I'm at 0.07% and below the reporting threshold, which means I will miss my obligation to report the content in this diode. Right? So I can't do that either. So the only real approach here is to actually do an article analysis. We do uh, analyze the construction of this diode and we find out that when that plating is applied to the Dume wire, we end up with a plated wire. The plated wire is the first article into which this is incorporated into. It is the article as such, and it is the article that we need to consider for both reach article 33 and for skip. And once we look at the parameters and what that means, it means that if we do it wrong, we either are going to be reporting a 10 to 20% range when we should be reporting 0.1 to 0.3% or we're not reporting at all, right? Which is meeting our, not meeting our legal obligations to report. So this whole thought that we don't have to really do this per the guidance, that we can gloss this over and just report worst case, it falls apart in the context of SKIP. And suppliers have been in a lot of cases not doing this correctly and either taking the lazy man's approach or reporting it at the component level, both ways have been wrong. And so we need to make sure that this is done correctly. Now, just to kind of show you some examples of why this is so important for SKIP, in this case, we have a product that contains multiple articles within the same component. It contains solder in the dilead frame assembly, and it also contains an SVHC in the encapsulation, which is part of the final IC assembly. Two different articles considered, two different SVHCs considered. So we need to understand where those SVHCs are present in the part and not just calculate them both as a function of the whole part or as a function of the material they're in. The same goes when we have a situation where we could have one single article within the component, but that article contains multiple materials within SVHC. In this case, the plated wire, the, both the core material of the wire and the plating contain lead. So in which case I have to under skip, disclose the material categories of each of those materials. So I have to be able not to disclose only that, hey, my plated wire contains this lead at this concentration, but I have to disclose which materials within the plated wire also contain that, in which case there's multiple ones. So again, this construction analysis, this article analysis is critical to making an accurate representation in the SCIP database. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.